Hi, I'm Hagi from HPR. Today we're going to have a full review of the HPR wiring harness for the CAM TCU controller. This uh, wiring harness is suitable for all 8HP and DCT applications. We believe this is the most trouble-free and easy to use wiring harness on the market. Let me explain why. First of all, the uh, wiring harness come fully laminated with all connectors marked. Almost all of the connectors are a true plug and play, so no additional wiring required. The only connections that requires some additional uh, wiring is the ECU connection, which is two wires and also the brake switch connection. Supplied mating connectors are included with the kit. Many other vendors that sell wiring kits only sell a generic wiring kit with a main connector that runs to generic uh, branch connectors. And then you need to do lots of wiring yourself. Wiring in relays, splitting power feeds, splitting uh, grounds, and also splitting the canvas signals. Here you have everything already pre-wired in one solution. The wiring harness runs from the main connector for the CAN TCU controller all the way through a nice wiring grommet included out to the transmission. This will be wired by HPR uh, according to your 8HP or DCT model. Um, now moving on to the power supply of things. Uh, this is uh, connected with uh, two relays and has uh, add-on fuses. The reason we uh, decided to install add-on fuses is that uh, an add-on fuse is a better connection than a poor connection done by a hobbyist. If you decide to do a professional uh, installation to a fuse box, you can just simply cut these off and do the termination yourself. Additionally, we have a reverse light output, which, which is relayed as well, together with the fuse on the relay here. This is direct plug and play into most Nissan chassis for, from the 90s. If you don't have a Nissan chassis, we supply you with a mating connector for you to make a small jumper to your existing harness. Uh, we also include a time delay relay into uh, the power supply harness as uh, the CAN TCU controller requires this for proper function. We decided to do it as a separate unit. If you have a PDM solution, you can simply cut the wires here and run them directly to the PDM. That will exclude the relays. Most cases, uh, people will need the relay functions, so they're already wired in together. And now all to the installation of the wiring harness. In order to install this wiring harness, you need to have a fundamental understanding of electrical circuits and application-specific installations. Now over to the power supply side of the harness. Uh, here is the power plug connected to the relays uh, that runs to the reverse light output and the power leads. Uh, one add-on fuse is marked ACC and uh, the separate uh, add-on fuse is marked power supply. This goes to an always hot position in your fuse box and this goes, goes to a um, position that is hot with the ACC powered on. The reverse light is fused with this fuse and it can be connected directly to your chassis harness by the mating plug or directly if you have a Nissan chassis. Uh, the ground connector uh, needs to go to a clean place uh, onto the chassis and make sure it's a solid connection directly to steel. The main connector plugs uh, directly to the controller itself and also the uh, transmission connector plugs directly into the transmission. The minimum requirement for the controller to work will be found on the Canformance webpage. You will need a minimum of uh, connection uh, with your uh, ECU and a brake switch. The car ECU canvas uh, connection is marked on the wiring schematic here and you can connect this to your can high and can low on your ECU using uh, flying leads and and the mating connector that are supplied with the kit. And the same with the brake switch, you need to connect that to your brake switch circuit. There's also an additional wire here that can be connected to a drive logic button in order to change drive logic modes on the TCU itself. DCT shifter is direct plug and play. Um, the pedals is also direct plug and play. If you have a custom application for your pedals, uh, you can find the wiring the schematics in the wiring diagram. It's one ground and two digital inputs wired on this. If you don't have a DCT shifter and uh, wish to run any other micro switch uh, buttons, you can simply just cut off this and use this as well. This has the same uh, digital inputs as the pedals feeder. The CAN display plugs directly into any CAN display or if you have a custom CAN display, uh, simply wire it according to the diagram here. The same with the CAN keypad. 
plugs directly into uh, the Blinker Marine CAN keypads. If you have a custom requirement, you can use the mating uh, pin with the connectors and plug it according to the wiring diagram. And here you have the plug and play uh, solution for the OEM shifter styles, also a direct plug and play. And finally the ODB connector, that's also plug and play. Here is an example of an installed setup on our demo rig here. Here you have the CAN-formance controller, CAN keypad and also the CAN display. This is just for display purposes and all of these units should be installed inside the car. Uh, once all the wiring inside the car has been performed, you have the wiring grommet, which is 2 inch. You can purchase our shifter mount plates that already have the cavity for our wiring grommet, which is really nice and convenient. And then you run the wiring directly through there into your transmission tunnel and onto your 8HP transmission. Here you'll see the harness uh, connected directly with the sequential style shifter. And that's it, the easiest and most convenient wiring harness on the market. If you are buying the CAN TCU controller from us, you'll get a full 30% discount on the wiring harness. Go get your HPR harness right now.